This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. Saturday night in a championship contest that was streamed live on the Zone pay-per-view in front of 96,000 screaming fans at Wembley Stadium. IBF heavyweight champion Daniel Dubois put his title on the line for the very first time against former two-time unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua. Just prior to the opening bell, the zone showed poll results indicating 83% of those voting believed Joshua would emerge victorious. But right out of the gate, Dubois was the one who looked sharper and better composed, working behind the snappy jab and going right after AJ. Dubois was winning the early battle of the jabs, and he was also twice warned for using his head in the early going. Late in the opening round, Dubois landed a walloping right hand that sent AJ down. Joshua beat the count, and the round was over. But it was a beautiful knockdown and a terrific start for Dubois. In round two, Dubois continued going on the attack, and he continued being effective. A mighty onslaught from Dubois left AJ looking off balance and a bit wobbly. But Dubois was never reckless and he remained patient, choosing his moments wisely, and whenever he did pounce, he was explosive. Dubois was still using his jab effectively, sometimes doubling up. It was another solid round for Dubois, who was not allowing AJ to settle in and find any type of rhythm. The third started a bit more tactical, but again Dubois was the one showing superior firepower. To his credit, AJ was trying to regain his composure and box, but he was having a hard time earning Dubois' respect. As the third was coming to an end, Dubois opened up with a spirited attack where Joshua touched down, but it wasn't ruled a knockdown in that moment, as Dubois continued pouring it on and did eventually drop him. Early in round four, Dubois had AJ down yet again. He beat the count, but moments later he was down again, although this time it was not ruled a knockdown. AJ was doing everything he could to survive and slow Dubois' roll. Dubois was warned for throwing low, and when action resumed, he resumed attacking effectively. Joshua was having a lot of problems in there, but he was still giving his best and he made it to the end of the round. Dubois continued being patient, effective, and explosive to start round 5, and AJ was beginning to take more chances. AJ nailed Dubois with a big right hand that left him backing up. This emboldened AJ and he began opening up, and the two traded big right hands. But Dubois landed the money punch right on the chin that had AJ down yet again. And this time, Joshua would not be beating the count. The fight was over. It was a fifth round knockout by Daniel Dubois and a dominant effort from start to finish to score the big time upset. These things do indeed happen in threes. First, Chisora scored the big time heavyweight upset against Juggernaut Joe Joyce. Then Martin Bacoli scored another heavyweight upset against Jared Anderson. And for those claiming that wasn't an upset, according to the odds makers, it most certainly was. And now here with Daniel Dubois, he dominated AJ in a big time upset where 83% of those who participated in the DAZN poll believed AJ would emerge victorious. Daniel Dubois has had one of the most impressive turnarounds in recent heavyweight memory. After losing against Joyce in November 2020, people were calling Dubois a quitter. Then in his very next fight, he inexplicably got the opportunity to fight for a WBA eliminator, and two fights later, he won the WBA regular belt against Trevor Bryan. That regular WBA belt was not a major world title, but it would earn him a mandatory shot against Usyk. And before that happened, things nearly ended in disaster for Dubois after he was dropped three times in the opening round against Kevin Lorena. But Dubois persevered and stopped Lorena in the third, which led to the showdown against Usyk. The big highlight in that one centered around the controversy of the low blow, but Usyk otherwise dominated the action and stopped Dubois in that one. By that point in time, not many were imagining Dubois would go on to rebuild and rebound the way he did. 
He followed the Usyk loss by winning a hard-fought battle against Jarrell Miller, where he ultimately scored a dramatic stoppage near the end of the 10th and final round. Dubois followed that up with a strong effort against Philip Hergovich, which was a very brutal affair where Dubois ultimately outgunned him to win the IBF interim belt, which earned him another mandatory shot against the IBF champion, which also happened to be Usyk. As fate would have it, just a month after Usyk made boxing history when he beat Tyson Fury to become the first undisputed world heavyweight champion in nearly a quarter century, Usyk vacated that belt after being strong-armed by the IBF, and Dubois was promoted to the real McCoy. That marked Dubois as the IBF heavyweight champion, despite the fact he was 0-1 in fights competing for a major world championship. But now he's officially 1-1 one one in major title fights, and he won this fight in impressive and dominant style, officially dropping AJ four times to score the big-time knockout. It really is an amazing story over that stretch of time. Right now, beyond being the IBF heavyweight champion, Dubois is really the only bona fide top 10 contender under the age of 30, which suggests he might very well have a very bright future. Indeed, Daniel Dubois might very well prove to be the future of heavyweight boxing. He has back-to-back -back victories against legit top 10 opposition. And aside from Usyk, who is clearly still the man at heavyweight, and aside from Joseph Parker, who had back-to-back -back impressive victories against Deontay Wilder and Big Bang Zhang, Dubois is otherwise on the best run in boxing today, where his victories against Hergovich and AJ are arguably more impressive than Parker's victories against Wilder and Zhang. Parker has indicated he'd be up for fighting Dubois, and that would be a most welcome matchup. Eddie Hearn also indicated that AJ may activate a rematch clause against Dubois, but I'm not sure that it's in AJ's best interest to jump right back into the fire with Dubois. It's difficult to say where AJ goes from here, as he took a horrific beating in this one. And beyond being badly beat up physically, mentally this might be a tough one for AJ to bounce back from. With all of the difficulty AJ had keeping Dubois off of him, it is difficult to envision him having any more success on that front in a rematch. Then, of course, all eyes will be looking ahead to December 21st, when Usyk and Fury have their highly anticipated rematch. Should Fury manage to win the rematch, then a fight between Fury and Dubois feels like a no-brainer. You can get another 96,000 screaming fans at Wembley, and it would theoretically be for the undisputed heavyweight crown. On the flip side, should Usyk win the rematch against Fury as most expect, Seeing a rematch between Usyk and Dubois would still make some sense, especially with the story surrounding the controversial low blow that wound up being the memorable talking point from that one. But a fight against the winner of the Usyk-Fury rematch would be the best option in my opinion. A fight against Parker would be awesome. And then there are some other interesting matchups that can be made, including Ajit Kabiel, Martin Bacoli, and Big Bang Zhang, all of whom are highly rated by the IBF at this time. And of course, the rematch with AJ might be on the table as well. I do believe, however, taking on the winner of the Usyk Fury rematch would be the ideal path for Dubois. And I sure as hell am looking forward to that one. December 21st, the Usyk Fury rematch, and that one will be available live on the Zone. For anyone out there who is not currently subscribed to DAZN, I have left a link in the description. Simply click the link in the description to sign up for DAZN. Congratulations to Dynamite Daniel Dubois, and best of luck to both Dubois and Joshua going forward. What did you think of the fight? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner.